Okay, mm, guys, welcome to our new project. Uh, today uh, I'm talking about the splash screen on Flutter app. I mean, the loading screen when the app will run. Okay, so uh, let's dig in. First, make a dot file in the folder, folder although it is splash. Screen. So yeah, then this is the splash screen. I mean, this is the screen which will loading for a few seconds. Then which page will be navigate after this screen will create that page. Uh, I mean that dart file, which is the okay. Let's first the screen. Yeah. First of all, import material dot. So this splash screen we needed a stateful widget. Okay, this stateful widget we call it splash screen. Okay. Now uh, what we will show in our splash screen in the loading screen. I mean, so uh, make a logo in the logo and here we will use a loading icon or timer something so let's scaffold sorry scaffold with this body save area child center we will pick the lo our logo is in center so which is child image image as it image now it's time for import our image okay so in our download uh, we put, we will download this two picture first of all the logo this is the normal photo look and another one is the loading icon which will is gf gfl so let's copy to our project folder so we are in our project directory let's create a folder called assets paste it now go to our Android studio and in the studio see the our assets directory is done loading jf and the logo png both are transparent so okay so uh, let's go for the directory and oh Let's import our picture in SparkSqML, which is called assets. So assets slash sparkit. Okay, our picture import is done. Now go for the pictures assets slash is logo dot png and when the screen is appeared here is our logo will be appear and bottom there is a loading g file okay let's go in the scaffold and floating action button yes. image image asset image as a slash D I N dot P G A. No, just run. Let's see our project is okay. <laughs> we don't call it in the material app, so let's home splash screen. Done. Now we start the app. okay just we make sure that our picture is imported now um, there is a const modifier okay let's go now for the logo we will do it in center the floating action location is 
Coding. Center foot. So center foot. Floating action button location. This is center foot. Refresh. See? Loading screen is in the middle and logo image height will be hundred. Not good. Nice two hundred. Okay. So when the app will be will start the this is the screen will appear for the first time okay then the second screen we created uh, the i mean the first screen after the splash screen will appear here this is import it is stateless widget then uh, our first screen uh, container uh, content okay so this default body superior child text welcome style key style font size is 40 okay now the main part is over here let's debug just clear this debug icon okay just okay okay our splash screen is ready but now for implement the screen when we create when you run the app application this splash screen will appear okay for override we will not import any outside project outside package so for this we have to override the init any state which is void it state now super dot init state oh actually I'm in wrong site we'll have to override it in upper side of build area okay so so after initiate we have to call a widget which is timer um, okay which has duration duration um, so duration is duration okay so 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 in duration we have to select the timer is seconds how much second like five seconds this screen will appear then next space will come no uh, after the splash screen where it will go we have to navigate the first screen page okay so navigate to dot of dot push material page sorry material page route build context context Our first screen is first. Now is first screen. Not right. So there is an error on the initiant. That is cause modifier. Sorry. The method initiate is defined super class of spray screen. So the problem is how we write it wrong. Okay. Now uh, for cause modifier everywhere. So our code is done. So basically, uh, we override the instead. See, framework, blah blah blah. Now, but uh, override the instead. Now and then the timer is come. Duration is 
the time of the splash screen and then the in the navigator we call our first screen or you can any screen you want now let's restart the app one two three four five yes welcome our second screen is come so you can make it easily nothing hard <laughs> of us is not good it's center okay, welcome <laughs> second